Hi guys. Um, I want to show you guys something. Uh, if you don't have oil paint, but you have uh, oil sticks, especially R and F oil sticks, if you're looking for a particular color and don't have it, but you have it in the oil stick, all you have to do. Take a little bit of oil stick. Let's say I want that this color, but I don't have this color. And you can make this little. Now that that that's white with cold wax in it. As you can see, you can make colors just out of the uh, stick itself. Now I'm just going to put plain down without the white in it. You have to smash it pretty good. And there I've made cold wax paint out of an RNF stick. Those are the oil sticks I use. I also use Winsor Newton, which I like. It's not as creamy. I've never made oil paint out of Winsor Newton oil stick, but I don't know why you couldn't. So there's oil paint made with cold wax and uh, a stick. So I just wanted to show that to you. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to move this over to, okay, there we have it. And this is the one that I was working on yesterday. And I've been looking at it and thinking to myself, how can I improve it? I think I need to do something else in here. And I'm thinking about putting some collage in. And I have a couple pieces of collage already cut up. This is paper like a silk paper, but it has some dots on it. I don't know if you can see those dots on there or not. And I'm thinking about putting, putting it in here. I wanna cut it up to it's a little bit more even. What's nice about this paper is that you can see through it. right there. A little bit more off yet. Got to make it just a little bit thinner. And I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some fresh cold wax down. That's too much. And since this is so thin, I don't have to put anything on the back of this. If it were regular paper, I'd put it also on the back of the collage. But since this is so thin, I am not going to worry about it. And you can see, it just blends right in. I don't know if you can really notice that or not. But it's there. I'm going to push it in. It's just kind of barely there, and that's what I like about it. Might put more in somewhere else. I don't know yet. But I wanted to use my stamp. That This is the stamp that I used here and here, a little bit down here. And it's one of those uh, rubber... Uh, soft. It's not the uh, linoleum. It's not the real hard. And then I just had a cutting tool and cut out my own design. And what's nice about it is that you could do it on both sides. So that I like. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to put it right here, I think. Just a little bit right there. And what color do I want to use? I'm going to try it in black. If I don't like it, 
you know what? And I didn't, I didn't uh, make any black paint. Now, that won't take me long. I don't want it real thick. if I like that or not. I don't. So how am I going to get rid of that? I'm going to spray it. And I can do that because my surface is my surface is, is not hard, not completely dry. It's a little tacky. As you can see, I can take it off pretty good. Now I'm going to blot that because I don't want it to be too tacky. Maybe with Chinese orange. Now I'm going to wipe this off. And I could spray it if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Maybe I'll throw orange and some yellow in it as well. That way parts of it will be brighter, other parts will be darker. Okay, let's see what we have. If we don't like it, we can do the same thing again. Oh, I just moved it. Crap. Nope. Not having good luck, guys. I just reestablished that. lighter into it. So it's not all the same value. Get my bowl scraper. Scrape as much of that off as I can. Well, don't worry about the small things because I can go back over this with white with no problem. Which I think I'll do right now. And I'm going to take my a shaper over parts of this again. There, I like that. Do I want that? bright. Your eye goes right there. That's why I cannot do that because it's brighter than anything else on here. 
So that's where your eye will go. put something yellow up, in, up into this area or orange and I tried that real bright and that did not work so we're going to have to go will this work since this is down here yes that will work This, I don't like the lines in this. Go back and cover them up. Wax. There, I like that better. And I need, think I need some of this bright orange down here. and some brighter blue in between them. Need something red right in there, this bright color right in there. I think I know what I'm gonna do, but we'll, we'll see. Now, I'm going to take this yellow pigment stick and go over this line a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this. I think what I'm gonna do is get a paintbrush, paint this in here in white. Gives me a little bit of lightness right there. This is going to be red. Okay, where is my mold scraper? Here it is. It's right here is going to be red.
Maybe I want it to go into the white a little bit. And I'm going to clean up the other side. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm looking at my black edges. My First of all, I'm looking for shapes. Okay, I have a black shape, a big one, a medium one, and a small one. That I'm saying maybe I need another black shape. Put it on with a brush right here. A very small one. Okay, I like that. So I have big, medium, smaller, and smallest. I could go into this. This is my original showing through right here, and I'm liking that, so I'm not going to touch it. This is original here. This is kind of original here. I'm just not happy right there. I like that better. So I have a, a bigger red shape. This is kind of a red shape, and I'm going to let that the way it is because it's kind of... Uh, is showing my history. Then I have smaller red shapes. And then let's look at blue. I guess this is my biggest blue shape here. And this is my next. And then I have some small ones. And yellow, I'm not, and I have a lot of little yellow things going on here. I have a short line and I have a longer line. And my whites, I have a big one, a medium one, a smaller one, and very small ones. Something needs to be right here. Don't know about this, but let's see what it looks like. What does that look like? I think, I think your eye is going to go right there. And I don't want your eye just to go right there. So let's do something. Why don't we draw into it? Or just have... I'm just gonna try something. If I don't like it, I'll take it away. No, I don't like that either. Okay, Linda, put your put your thinking cap on. see something outside. I have deer in the backyard. We feed the deer. I think I think what I'm going to do is paint three round. I'm going to paint a round circle and uh, get a thin like a in a liner, a rigger. I'm going to use this brush right here. Dip it into my gamma saw. Get my brush good and wet. Get it real juicy. If I can get that to show up a little bit better. I do like that. I think that's going to work.
I kind of like it like it's, I like kind of like that because it's there, but it's not there. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll have one going off the edge. Like right in here. I do, I like that. Should I have one right here? What the heck? Don't like it, we can take it off. Ooh, I like how that picked up green there. That was an accident and I like it. I don't know where that green came from. Must have been the blue underneath it with the yellow interacting okay Maybe change that up make that just a little bit brighter I think I need a small circle right there. Let's do it in blue. If we don't like it, we'll take it away. Like the blue. Maybe this should be orange. I think that does it. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's there. So much to look at. That's that's what I'm liking about it. There's a lot to look at in this piece. Now I'm looking for my skewer. What did I do with it? Lord knows. Only the Lord knows. I think that's just too much. I don't. Don't know. I just don't know. Nope. Nope. Can't find the right spot, so I guess I shouldn't have it. 
I, this is fabric, actually. That's what this is. This is just fabric. I like it there, but your eye, that's where your eye goes. And I don't, I don't want this to be the center. Nope. This is a good spot for it if I decide to do it. Okay, I'll tell you what, guys. You tell me what you think in your comments if you like that there or not. I won't put it in until I hear from you. Kind of looks plain there without it, doesn't it? I'm going to do it. And what I'm doing is I'm putting cold wax on the back of it. Particularly along the edges. I don't want to forget my edges. And I'm going to put cold wax here. wipe my hands off good and then I'm going to put a lot of cold wax on top of it and there's paint on top of it which is I don't care because I don't want it to be perfect now the cold wax on top of this will dry clear I do have like this. I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to put it here. And I'll put some cold wax on top of it. This is, like I said, it's fabric. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it done. I'm going to go get my skewer, and I think I'm going to put a few lines in it yet.
some of these. And I always mess up some of my lines because I never want my lines to be perfect. I don't want you to look at my painting and say, well, that's the last thing she did. So I'm going to press in some of them so it doesn't look like it's the last thing I did. The only corner I'm not really loving is this corner right here. Let's see if we can do something with that. This is just plain Chinese orange. Just don't want it to be so bright that your eyes gonna go off. Maybe this should be black. I don't have much black paint left. Let's try it. Let's do it with my bowl scraper. Okay, guys, I think I'm finished. And believe it or not, this is the quietest area. And I was going to go in to change that, but I didn't. But And that is really, this is white, white, white. I have a little bit of white there. Maybe, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Let's make paint this a bright white. I have to clean my brush and then make just a hair, tiny little bit of white. And again, I use flake white replacement. It's the only white I use. Unless I run out. I use uh, warm white a lot. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna paint these three white too. Okay, I'm finished. How many times did I say that, guys? I think quite often. But I thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've enjoyed this piece very much. It's a little different for me. I just uh, put down paint once again and just to see what would happen. I'll give you a close-up and a photo. Thanks a lot. Oh, and by the way, uh, I probably won't have a lot of videos this coming week. Uh, because I'm preparing for my online uh, acrylic class. And uh, so that's going to take up a lot of my time. So I just, if, if you don't see anything, that's the reason why I didn't fall off the edge of the earth. So thanks. Be safe, everyone. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm liking it. Get a close up. like my circles I put in that orange. Did 
can see my collage off to the left and the collage off to the right. That doesn't look like, like it's straight all of a sudden to me in the camera. I'm gonna to have to straighten that up a little bit when I get this done. So I will also give you a photo, guys. Thank you.